Hello everyone, this is Sudhir and welcome back to my class. In this class, we are going to learn about the highest common fact, that is HCF. The HCF of the two or more numbers is their greatest common factor that divides the number exactly without leaving a remainder. That means, look at this, highest common factor. So how to find out this? The first method is listing the factors, listing the factors. So what is that? Find the HCF of 48, 72 and 91 by the listing the factors. So we have the different type of methods that is the listing the method and prime factorization method and division method. So in these three methods we are going to discuss in this video. So the first one is the listing method. Find the HCF of 48, 72 and 90 and you know very well how to write the factors of a given number. That is in the previous classes we have discussed. Now I am going to write the factors of 48. So what are the factors of 48? The 48 factors we write as 148 2 times of 24 and what about 3? It is 16 times, 16 times, 3 16s, okay? Next 48 is 4 12s and it's 5 table it is not possible now the six table six eight times are 48 so from the seven table also is not possible and eight table again we get eight six eight six 48 that means the numbers so it's completely these all are the factors this one and at the same time these all are the factors of 48 so finally what we write the factors of 48 here that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24 and 48. So these all are the factors. Now then another one I am taking that is 72. What are the 72 factors here? Yes we write 172s and 2 times of 36. So, is it possible with the 3 tables? So, 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. 9 is the multiple of 3. So, that it is possible with the 3 table. That is 324s. And if you have any doubt, you can do the rough work like with the 372 is possible or not. 326. And bring down this 12. 3 4 is 12. So, reminder we got 0. So that 3 is the factor of 72 that is 24 times okay. So like that you can check it. Now what about the 4? Is it possible to divide by the 4? Yes. How many times it is? 4. See you can check the rough work here. 4 1 4. 3 2 32. That means 18 times. So here I'm showing you model how to find out the factors if you don't know properly that number whether it is a factor or not you can divide and you can check it like this and the next one 5 yes the last number is 2 definitely it should not divide by the 5 and the 6 and we know very well 12 6 is 72 that means 6 12 times we take 7 table is not possible here right because 7 tens are 70 and what about the 8 yes it is 8 9 times you can take okay so now you can observe again you will get the reverse reverse that means 9 8 72 12 6 72 18 4 72 24 3 72 36 2 72 and 72 1 so these all numbers are the factors of 72 got it now the next one is 90 so what are the factors of 90 we discuss We write 190s and 245s, 3 3s are 9 so that 330 times we write it is. And 4 
yes four table is not possible here then we take the five because last digit is zero so last digit is zero so that it divisible by five that is five 18 times 18 fives are 90 correct now what about six yes with six also it is divisible because already it's divides by the two and three so that it's divides by the six also six how many times 15 times right because 15 6 are 90 and 7 no and with 8 also you know you can't get uh, that mean 8 is not a factor of 90 and the next number is 9 take 9 times 90 and after 90 again you have the same numbers that is 10 nines next directly you can take 15 6 18 fives 33 45 twos 91 so directly you can take from here now how to find out the factors from this so as i told you the highest common factor hcf mean the highest common factor you can check out the from the three from these three which number i mean what are the uh, common factors from this of course one you can find out here here and here as well as the two you can find out the factor that means it is a common factors these all are the common factors right next to three here three is there and in this three three is a common and four we have the common only from in the 48 and the 72 but not in the 90 so the next number you can check yes six correct six is the common factor in the three now what about the next number eight here I'm taking the 8. This 8 is not a common factor in the 3 because we have a 8 here and here but not in the 90, correct? So as well as the 12 is the common factor for only 48 and 92. 12 is a common factor for only 48 and 92 but not, sorry, 48 and 72 but not 90, right? And what about the 16? 16 is not a common factor, right? And 24 and as well as the 48 also is not a common factor. So the common factors here, 1, 2, 3 and 6. So what is HCF? That is highest common factor. What is the highest common factor in these 3? That is 6. So what is HCF of 48, 72 and 90? That is answer is 6. Okay. So this is the model to find the common factor that means the highest common factor using factors right now the next topic is prime factorization method so you know already how to divide the given number into the prime factors okay in the previous videos also we have discussed the given number how to uh, write into the prime factors now I'm going to take the prime factors so you can take either prime factor method or division method so choice is yours okay so with which method you comfort you can follow that mostly we can use the division method right that is I'm going to take now 36 using the division method yes this is 3 12s and it is 3 4s after this we write 2 2s right so these are the prime factors of 36 and 48 48 the last number end with the digit even number so that i will take now two two twos two fours two ones two twos again two six times so similarly two three times okay now 84 the last number end with the digit even number so that again I'm taking two two fours two twos two twos two ones now 21 is the odd number but it is multiple of three it's very clear 21 is the multiple of three correct so three sevens are 21 now these prime factors I'm going to write now so 36 prime factors are how to write 36 that is 2 2 3 3 so that we write here 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 correct because 2 2 is a 4 4 3 is a 12 12 3 is a 36 the next one is 48 
to write this 48. This. See the common, I mean the prime factors of 48 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. What about 84? Yes, the 84 prime factors 2 into 2 into 3 into 7. Now, you can check here what are the common numbers from this all. What are the common numbers? check 2 2 and one more correct and here i have the another one also that is one more 2 is there here yes 2 2 2 and any other is the common in the 3 yes that is 3 is the common in the 3 okay so no other number is a common here. So what is the HCF now? HCF of the HCF of that means the highest common factor of 36, 48 and 84 is that is 2 into see first I circle with the white color that 2 next one I circle with red color that is second two and I have circled with blue that is three now if you multiply these three here two two is four four three is a twelve the twelve is the highest common factor that is a HCF of 36 48 84 so this is called prime factorization method so here is the another example that is 90, 108 and 432. We have three numbers now. In these three numbers, the least number is 90 and the next number is 108. So, we should divide now uh, this 108 by 90. So, how to divide it? Take 108 and divide by the 90. And you know well that 90 once 90, it leaves here 18. Now what we do this 18 as the divisor and we take the before divisor the 90 as dividend okay. so we should divide this 90 by 18 18 fives 90 so it leaves the reminder is 0 now 18 is the highest common factor of 90 and 108. So the point I'm writing here, this 18 is HCF of 90 and 108. Now here we have another number that is 430. So what we do now? We should divide this 432 by 80. So here 432 as dividend and what is the divisor? That is this 18. So with 18 we should divide it. Then 18 to 36. Here we get 7. Bring down this 2. So 18 force 72. And we get here. 18 is the factor of 432. So finally what we conclude now, the 18 is the highest common factor of the three numbers. That is, the 18 is the highest common factor of the three numbers. That is 108, 90 and 432. So I hope you understood this division method also. Now we discuss some important properties. And here we have some important properties of HCF. That is the property number one. The HCF of the given numbers cannot be greater than themselves. So for example, you can observe here 90, 108 and 432. But we got the HCF is 18. So this 18 is not more than the any of them like 90 or 108 or 432. The next property is if one number is a factor of the another number, 
the smaller number is the highest common factor of the two numbers for example take 9 and 27 the 9 and 27 9 is the factor of 27 so that the hcf of 9 and 27 is 9 and the next important point is if the hcf of two number is 1 they are called co-prime numbers the hcf of 16 and 25 for example the hcf of 16 and 25 is there is no common factor in 16 and 25 so that we can take hcf as 1 because 1 is the factor of every number so that that one we can consider as the highest common factor of the 16 and 25 so these numbers are called co-prime numbers next one the consecutive numbers are always co-primes consecutive numbers mean for example 4 and 5 are the two consecutive numbers yes these two numbers are co-prime numbers for example you take like 8 and 9 10 and 11 15 and 16 these all are the consecutive numbers so the consecutive numbers the hcf of the consecutive numbers is always one so i hope you understood this complete hcf concept and here is some practice questions to you if you have interest you can practice and your answers you can write in the comment box okay so this is sudhir thanks for watching see you soon